Hi, I'm Belger, and this is Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. Last time we finished up in Casa Madrugada with the Santa, but we didn't get anything useful out of him. Maybe we can do that today. Eres your own maricón! Me das asco! Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente! Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho jovencito sin vergüenza? ¿Qué diablo es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. Pero son tuyos. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? The escuela is from this province. His uh, father was a borracho. A drunk who worked as a laborer on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God! And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force must be used. If you are to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 that. You are in no position to negotiate. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. Now, you head there and you lend your support. Oso, ¿cuántas veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. ¿Qué eres, cabrón? No está mi sombra. Vaya. Follow me. We must hurry. Colonel Lalende seems like a charming fellow. At least he'll help us find Williamson in the Squalo. So I finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is easy to criticize power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in any case, you had not noticed, we're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance and is impatient for victory. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. My men left some time ago. We're already late. Come on, let's see if you can ride. Come on, you're built to climb on that horse. It 
it seems to me that there's something weird going on with the Colonel. I'd much rather side with the peasants and help engineer revolution for them, especially if all these guys are trying to do is find women to rape while killing their fellow Mexicans. Come on! You surprised me, gringo! You just wait! I'm coming! At least I have the satisfaction of being faster on my horse. It's a nice distraction. We're close to the Sora soon now. If my men are dead, the rebels will all die. If they're alive, they have failed me, and the rebels will all die. So, I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. Traitors must be made to suffer. Show that we will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. They're animals! We'll slaughter them accordingly. Ah. I hope you fight better than this little girl, gringo. Come, let's have some fun. Pelau salvajes! This assault on Tesora Azul, I'm bringing out a new weapon, the semi-automatic pistol. The semi-automatic pistol is great because it can rapidly fire powerful bullets at close range. It's also very precise. All the rebels here have powerful weapons, it's very easy to get killed in this mission. Especially if, like me, you're not very careful. The pistol is great for quickly taking them all out. We did all this just to get women for a Linde? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Use them to burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? John, you're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos! Buen trabajo! Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. You heard the captain? The fire bottles are over there. Well, things just took a turn for the menacing. At least we get a new weapon, the fire bottle. Hurry! I do not want to be here any more than you do. Okay, this one's for you. Good! Now burn another one! Apparently these houses are also extremely flammable, which is weird considering that they're made of brick. Isn't that beautiful? You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa. Let's sample some of the new girls before they spoil. I think I'm going to see if Ricketts can help me find a squaler. Screw these guys. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, eh? No me toques. I fall. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cars. Cars on. Champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well, then, your deal. <laughs> 
Oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshan! Do you guys like playing cards? This is our exciting task for today. Now I need two pairs of eyes. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. Hmm. King and three. This is a great hand. I'm in. No, thank you. Always a pleasure playing with you, Mr. Muller. Not for me. Marston's wife has been kidnapped by feds. A little Lucky in cards indeed. And there was me thinking I wasn't going to make any money today. Hmm, an ace and a queen. Boring. Oh well, I'll play it anyway. It lets up the stakes a bit. Call. I fault. Let me see. Looks like the table has turned. You fucking cheat! Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat! Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planned the Disguise Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's no, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. I was feeling like a jerk when I recorded this. Please don't judge me for what's about to happen. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your marks, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. Christ alive! Steady now, partner. Stay calm. You should have stayed home, Yankee. Here I try to be nice and just shoot off his hand, but it doesn't work too well. Muller always did play his cards too early. Come on, we've earned ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's. That was for Hitler, you communist. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston? Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> Careful, Marston. I know that girl. No, por favor. No puede ser. No merezco esto. 
Holding women hostage is no way to get ahead in life. What the hell? Oh, Dios mio. God damn it, man, enjoy it. Come on, smoke these bastards up. Stay in cover now I bring out a rare weapon that can only be bought in Escalera, the semi-automatic shotgun. The lack of pause between shots is an absolute godsend. We say this poker game is over. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. Well, that's it for next time. See you soon as we free some prisoners and race against the clock for love.